hello guys let us first of all look at the outer components of the cpu cabinet this is as you can know that the cd drive uh, which is used for reading and writing the data on the cds okay and further moving on the power button used for switching on and off the cpu and the restart button and here comes the usb drives on the front panel this is usb 1 and 2 okay moving further there are two ports known as sound ports one for mic and one for speaker moving on further these are called intel Premier, intel pentium chip or this is a chip of processor on further dismantling of the cpu you will know very well about these processors let's moving on the back panel and here comes the back panel as you can see this is the SMPS fan SMPS switch mode power supply here it is rated AC through 230 volts okay further that there these are the back panel and the pink and the purple and green are used for keyboard and mouse connecting known as PS2 ports this is called comb ports used for serial legacy mouse this is called LPT port line printer and terminal used for connecting printers okay this is called VGA port known as video graphic graphic adapter used for connecting monitor and projectors and here comes as you know that USB ports these are six USB ports four on the one side and two on another on just behind that below that sorry okay these are USB ports used for connecting pen drives and data type data and other printers etc this is called the RJ45 port or registered jack 45 used for networking LAN and other networking devices are used to connect this uh, basically RJ45 wire is used to connect on these ports these are called sound ports I discussed earlier you one for mic one for speaker and one for line through okay let's move on the dismantling part as you notice the two screws uh, one uh, of yellow and one of black we have to uh, loosen these screws in order to uh, eject all the component inside the CPU cabinet let's unscrew it all Now slightly pull back this cabinet, this sheet uh, and just slightly pull back and just remove this out, yeah, this way, okay, as you can see this is the whole structure from inside the CPU known as a brain, okay. This is the whole structure of CPU this is SMPS known as switch mode power supply this is CD drive hard disk and this is the main main part of the CPU known as motherboard we have to just uplift this motherboard out of the CPU okay the first method the first part was the first step you can say that remove all the wires remove all the wires which are connected the first one is removed now the second one which is connected to the hard disk notice how can I remove this part just push slightly this button and uplift now remove the power from hard disk this is a power which is provided by the SMPS
दिस इज कॉल्ड अ साटा केबल दिस इज कॉल्ड अ साटा केबल विच इज कनेक्टेड टू द हार्ड डिस्क एंड टू द मदरबोर्ड removing removing all the wires gently basically the function of smps is to provide power to all the components of the cpu it can be hard disk cd drive motherboard the uh, basically it provides the power to the cpu now the next step is to loosen all the screws on the motherboard so that we can uplift the motherboard up and remove the motherboard from the cpu cabinet i am using the magnetic screw driver so that the screw is get attached to the magnetic screw driver and can be uplifted make sure no screw is left unloose unloosened while unloosing these screws make sure you loose you do the all the work gently in order not to harm the, any of the component of the cpu now i'm unloosing the screws of hard drives while pulling the hard drive please be your hand gently please put a pull out this hard drive very gently out so that you can't harm the hard drive
now I am removing the screws of CD driver Oh, I forgot to remove one screw. This is hidden at the back side of RAM. Okay, please be gentle while removing the motherboard from the CPU cabinet. This is a fan of processor which cools down the processor. While processing your CPU, the processor may heat. In order to cool down the processor, this CPU fan is used. Now removing the CD driver. After that, our whole dismantling is finished. But one thing is left, the SMPS. Removing the SMPS. While removing the SMPS, make sure no wire of the SMPS got gotten be gotten be harmed. because different wires of the SMPS provide different voltage current to the different parts of the CPU Finally we have removed the SMPS also and our full dismantling is done. We have removed the motherboard, hard drive, CD drive, SMPS, ok. Thanks for watching please like and subscribe for such videos stay tuned.